This is the future. Welcome back to my channel boys and girls, but first, Happy New Year to everyone who is watching. So today we are making a mango jam. Yes, the wife was kind of jealous because of my apricot jam that looked so great and good and she was also very curious about how it's going to taste. So here are the steps for making mango jam. Number one, peel your mangoes and then take the fruit off the pit. Put the fruit in one bowl and put the peels in another to discard later on. Then weigh your fruit. Remember to weigh the bowl separately so that you can get the weight and then weigh the fruit and the bowl together. Subtract the weight of the bowl and then you'll have your full weight of the fruit itself because remember your sugar will be one to one. Cut your mango pieces into little small bite sized pieces and place it into another bowl. Then remember to add sugar the same amount as the fruit because it's one kilogram of fruit for one kilogram of sugar and we had a total of 2.3 kilograms of fruit. Place all your fruit in a big pot and start layering the fruit. So it's one fruit, a bit of sugar, more fruit, a bit of sugar and so on and so forth. Now let's leave it to stand overnight. And this is what it will be looking like in the next morning. Time to start cooking. Remember to cook the fruit on a plate at low heat and keep it at a low heat. You can stir every now and then, you don't have to stand at the pot the whole time. Once it starts making foam, remember to add your 1 tablespoon of butter just to prevent it from foaming too much. If it starts foaming a bit too much, take another a cup and start scooping the foam into a different bowl because you don't want any foam in the jam. It'll only be until the butter starts kicking in. Okay, so the next part of the process I didn't witness, but the wife cheated. Look at the jam. It looks good, doesn't it? So we realized that the mangoes doesn't melt away or cook away like the apricots. So what did she do? She scooped the pieces out and put it into a blender. Yep, she blended it finely and she placed it back into the pot. After a few more minutes of cooking, we did the drip test to see if the syrup was right. As you guys can see, it's still running a bit fast. We cooked it a little bit more until it was nice and thick. Once the jam is right for you, you can bottle it. And uh, remember to sterilize your bottles before you bottle it. There we have it. We got eight and a half bottles of jam. And uh, the wife couldn't wait to let me taste her product. So I tasted it, it was very good. I unfortunately am not a big fan of mango, so it really wasn't bad, it was very nice. It is not something that I would eat every day. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all. There is now a Facebook page. So feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za Where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube 
front page there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.